there was a time when I was young that every day, every time I hear a preacher preach, was that Jesus Christ is coming back. Jesus Christ is coming back. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's coming like a thief. You will not know when will he come. But maybe now we are too comfortable that we have forgotten that there's a thief that could come tomorrow. There's a thief that could come tomorrow. There's a thief that could come now. He could come now to take away his church. And my, my, my biggest fear as a pastor is that I don't want all of you to be left behind. And I pray for you that when he gives a crown of glory, may he give you a crown to say, well done, you faithful servant. You have been faithful in the little. The little life you have given me, God, I've won a soul for you. If the rich man was in hell, what makes you think you will be exempted in heaven? Because I love to think that rich people can, can buy their way into a lot of things. But he couldn't buy his way out of hell. So Jesus says to them, what will a man give in exchange for his soul? begins to mellow come. He begins to compare it with the whole world. He begins to compare one soul with the whole world. He compares what? One soul with the whole world. He compares what? One soul with the whole world. Come, Dada. Just come, just come. Just come with your chest so you don't get tired. Come with your chest. Melo, just play some games. He begins to compare one soul with the whole world. I don't know what's your dream. What's your dream car? Where is the other mic? I'm just going to conclude now. Just need a mic. Give me another mic. Melo, I will need you to sing, so you just need to, to go get another mic. He begins to compare the whole world with one soul. What is your dream in this world? To be great. He begins to say, even if you are the great, in my book, if you don't have one soul, you haven't gained anything. Do you have a dream house? Do you, do you have any dream in this world? What's your dream? To, to become a best cardiologist. He begins to say, even if you are the best cardiologist, a guy who has no metric has nothing. If he has one soul, one soul when he comes to me, it's far much better. I want you to reflect where you spend most of your time spiritually. I want you to reflect. He begins to say, even if you, you have, wh wh what is the biggest suburb here? Even if you have the best of water cloth, you have all the houses in water cloth. Ah, he says, if a guy that is homeless has brought one soul, when he appears before the Lord Jesus Christ, you with your houses, you with your cars, you with your everything else, you haven't done anything to God. Could it be that what God fellows the church does not fail? Pull out in a Ferrari. Even the pastor will go greet you. Hey, what is your name? What is your name? You seem like you're happening. But God says, no, that is not how it's going to be like in heaven. 
One day we will be in heaven. One day we will stand before his judgment seat. We will not bring the cars we have. Because anyway when you die, you will leave the cars here. You will not take the houses. He's not going to ask you, how old were you when you bought your first house? He's not going to ask you, how old were you when you bought your first car? Oh, he's going to ask you, with the life you have lived, who have you won for me? Let's stand on our feet. When the, when the, saints the Bible says, What will a man give? In exchange for his soul. I'm going to give the whole world. I'm going to give all to win souls for Jesus. I'm here to tell you. That they say that one day. Children were playing in Kimberley in Fish. And a guy. They were playing with rocks. They didn't know what the rocks were. But it was actually diamonds. But they didn't see that they had diamonds in their eyes. Could it be that all of us, we are playing with diamonds and we don't see that we have diamonds, but God has sent his son to die for us. Gaga, you can take your seat. You can take your seat back. Let's just stand on our feet. I want to challenge you today. And I want you to really look at the things you value and ask yourself if you value what God values. Every man here and every woman here and every child here who, uh, whose heart is right with God may be a soul winner. Charles Spilgeon said that. The Great Commission is not an option to be considered. It's, an, it's a commandment to be obeyed. Hudson Taylor said that. I believe that in each generation, God has called enough men and women to evangelize yet to all unreached tribe in that generation. It's not God who has not called. It's men who have not responded to God. You have one business on earth is to save souls. John Wesley said that. You have one business on earth is to win souls. Reinhard Bog said, a church that does not save the lost, the church has lost, it's a lost church itself. And Bishop Duck and William Carey said, expect great things from God. Attempt great things for God. Win souls for God. I want to challenge you today. Just pray wherever you are. But God, I, wanna, I want you to make your heart right. May my heart be right with you. May I become a soul winner. May I go after what you go after. May I go after what you go after. The name of Jesus. I'm going to just raise your hands. Just raise your hands. Christ died for me. My prayer, my calling, my, my calling is to see you becoming a soul winner. My prayer, my calling, the purpose God has called me is to see each and every one of you become soul winners. That's what God has called me. 
to see each and every one of you working for God. When you begin to work for God, I have done my job. I'm going to make an altar call today. The same altar call I made last week. If you say, God, I love you. I love what you love. I'm making a decision to turn away from running the, after the things of this world. I want to become a soul winner. I want to give my life to winning souls. Just come in front. You say, Father, this year alone, I want to win souls. I want, I want to win at least five souls for you. I want to give my life to winning souls. If you were here last week, you don't need to come. But this is what God has called me to do. La brata if I pray for you, go to the office. If I pray for you, la 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 Confirm it. Let us see. 